Alright guys, welcome back to your 6th Angular JS tutorial in which we'll be covering on uh, more on expressions and directives which we learned in the past couple of tutorials. So we learned about expressions and directives like that expressions are used to echo out simply a bunch of text inside two curly braces, opening curly braces and closing curly braces and directives kinda attach your control of HTML elements to other elements so let's see how you can make uh, them more dynamic and how to make them work together and we'll be talking about one more directive in angular called ng init but it is not used that much because of controllers in angular.js which we'll be discussing soon so let's take a look at what ng init is so ng init kinda allows you to store data inside your HTML itself so that you can use it somewhere else uh, pretty much like you store variables in JavaScript so let's have a look so let's say I initialize my app oh I have already done it in the HTML section so what I can do is I'll just type div ng in it and I'll type here um, language equals angular JS and uh, notice the quotes because since we are kind of creating a variable type of thing and assigning it to language in it and to output this we could simply do like we did in like 5 plus 5 regular expression similarly we can just type language so it would um, echo out a AngularJS as its output because language is currently set to AngularJS but however if I type a quote around it then you'll see that we get language itself so make sure just like in JavaScript we make use of variables directly without inside any quotes similarly you have to use uh, the data stored by ng in it uh, without any quotes uh, while calling them so the next thing we can do with it is to create let's say input type um, a text box and we can use ng model to bind um, whatever we used here so let's say if I write your preferred language and I write here language and by default also I want to show a default value to it so what happens now is let me see uh, let me make you see this and it here right here says that your preferred language is angular.js and automatically it appears here so whatever I make changes to here let's say PHP or um, uh, MATLAB or maybe JavaScript for some folks out there so that's how basically ng in it works but we won't be using it much when I introduce controllers to you and maybe we would be doing that in next couple of tutorials so stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching